right here on the Muskegon Channel. Andy O'Reilly, Dave Cackley, we're both shined up pretty good this morning. Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, I, shine I think I need a little there. powder, though. You got a little powder? I need a little powder, a little, little too shiny. Are you really? That's okay. You carry a compact? I No, I do not. I do have, where is it? It's kind of a mess. I got some True Match uh, touch-up uh, concealer Ooh. in case <laughs> yeah, I get a, any blemishes. <laughs> I got Gotta one. have that for the TV. See right here. Is that... Yeah. What is? Oh, uh, is that a little uh, zit? Ingrown hair. Oh, it's ah. Uh, See that? Suck. I know. That's what's nice about being me. I can get away with that. You, on the other hand, right. pretty yeah, boy. No, I cannot. You know, I get it. Can I show see? that stuff? Last night I was watching the baseball game, mm -hmm. and um, I don't remember what the pitcher's name was, but he looked like he had eye sh eye, eye shadow on. Is that a thing in really? baseball? I mean, I know that they sometimes put black. The eye black, yeah. But this looked like um, it was kind of some kind of eyeshadow stuff. I don't. I, I, maybe really? it's a thing. I don't know. Because I know catchers will sometimes use nail polish, so they can mm -hmm. see their fingers better when they do right, signals and stuff. That makes sense. And I, you know, I, I don't know. If that's I a thing. don't think eyeshadow is a thing in professional no. sports in general. I could be wrong. And, and maybe, again, maybe it depends see, on. Maybe it was just the way the lights hit the guy. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would assume that happens maybe in from male planet, figure skating. And that's just the way their eyes look. Could be. You don't know. Could be. I don't know. Because I was watching. I, I, I was in the bathroom, and I was watching the thing on Area Fifty Two. Okay. Then I went to baseball, and I see this guy's eyes all shiny, and it, it could be an alien. Oh, I see. You think he's an alien? Yeah. You, you, you don't know. Hey, speaking of that, there's a little tease for you coming up. My second story. Who? We may be discussing something. Alien-related, alien possibly. Goody, 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 goody gumdrop. Let's do it. It's going to gonna whet your appetite a little bit. I'm ready. Okay. All right. All right. Let's get into it. The House in Washington narrowly approved a, a rescissions package, not a recessions, a rescissions package from the White House. This will cancel billions of unspent funds in an effort to save money. The package, package nixes about $15 billion, but according to the Congressional Budget Office, it's only going to save the government around $1 billion. To put that in perspective, that's 170th of Mark Zuckerberg's estimated net worth. Wow. So yeah, basically what, what we call a drop in the bucket. A vote was 210 to 206. It hasn't gone to the Senate yet. It's probably going to fail in the Senate. But you know, and I'm all for saving money, tightening those purse strings. Yeah. You know one thing but that gets me? A billion dollars at this point is nothing. Right. Isn't that something? It's crazy to think about that, I but know. it's nothing. You know one thing that gets me when you see, um, especially with some state budgets, mm -hmm. and we got to figure out a way to do a little bit better. Um, right. Sometimes with uh, state budget things, if it doesn't get spent, they don't get it the next year. Right. You know what I mean? If if I don't spend this much money this year, I won't get any money next year. So that they doesn't make sense buy to and me. They, what's that? That doesn't make sense to me. I I couldn't agree more. But you know what happens. You know, you know they do that. Yeah, I do know they do that, but it yeah. doesn't make sense. I mean, wh why? I mean, shouldn't you be rewarded for being able to save money? You think in, for in being a fiscally like responsible? Yeah. You know. You think that should go back into your coffers and yeah, hey, we think you got we a little need this more... much money this year, but at the end of the year, if you didn't, you need might that... need it. Right. You might yeah. need it down the road. Right. I I just I I don't understand the philosophy behind that, and that's something that if elected, I'd like to work on. I. It, um, I'll, I'll give you a great case in point. I won't name names or anything like that, but the state's got a helicopter program for police. There's okay. one over on this side of the state, and there's one over on the east side of the state. All if right. they don't use up the budget to fly that helicopter around, needed or not, they lose the budget the next year. So it there's, just baffles there, there, me. There have literally been nights where they've just been out flying this helicopter around and just, just to burn up gas. Yeah. What sense does that make? It doesn't. Yeah, see? that's the whole. That's the whole point. I mean, right. so much of this stuff doesn't make sense. Look what I got. You know, I, I'll look at you. Mm -hmm. Is that? Are you enjoying a, a hot chocolate or? Because you're not a coffee guy. No, that's coffee. That is coffee. When did that's you become coffee. a coffee guy? Well, you know, a while ago. Oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't know. I did double mocha this morning. Ooh. That's why I'm so uh, energized and uh, and focused. We got we got distracted. laser focused. Right. I think we did, yeah, a little All bit. Right. Well, do me your alien story. Oh, okay, that's uh, 
Good transition. Look See? at you. It's like you were a professional radio guy for a while. You think? Uh, is there the possibility of life on Mars? Yes. Organic matter has been found on the planet taken from three billion year old mudstone in the Gale Crater uh, by the Curiosity rover. NASA announced Thursday that the rover also detected methane in the Martian atmosphere. So Martians are evidently farting a lot. Yes, they are. And, uh, and that's good. I, you know, is, is it, is there, is it there? Show there me is. some people. There is. Just show me some people. I want to see there something. Be people. I, I mean, want, I, you know what I mean? Give me some. A, gen Dave, some a genesis on something. any other planet would result in completely different, you know, life forms. Uh, yeah, I'm and, not and saying. And they're all on different I mean. time scales, and they're all on different, you know, I mean, the way things evolved here is, is what we've got. But, right. you know, somewhere in the middle of nowhere where another genesis happened, it could be still the dinosaur age. It could still be single-celled amoebas. It could be, you know, I mean, to think. And it's I've thought, how many years have I told you this? And I believe this. To think that we're the only life forms and this planet is the only thing with life on it in the universe is the absolute most arrogant, ignorant thing you can oh, possibly imagine. Oh, I totally imagine. agree. I totally agree it's arrogant. Ridiculous. Uh, uh, and, but, as far as we know, for sure. Yeah, we, I, yeah, I, we I don't know for it. sure. But I mean, to I, assume that we're, we're we, and, right. and you know what? I don't even think, I don't even assume that we're the smartest in, beings in the universe. I don't even think we're close. Hard to say. Yeah. It, it, I, I, I haven't seen any evidence of anything uh, more intelligent. So for for what we know right now, we're it. <laughs> That's this, it, man. This coming from a guy who's been on UFO shows. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And I okay. and I admit I don't know what it was, and it may have been. I'm an open minded guy, so I'm open minded to either possibility, either that there is other life somewhere or that there's not. Okay. Well, I think it's there like is. And like, I think it's as close as Mars. Maybe you're right. We'll there see. I who knows. Um no, and I, I think I may have asked you this, but I was either so shocked by your response that I completely forgot or I'm just misremembering. Did you say if given the opportunity, you would take a one-way trip to Mars if you had that opportunity? One way. Got an awful lot here. I know. That's the, that's the point. I know you would go out into space. You have no... No qualms about that, but would you? Uh, you don't know if you can get back or not. Mm. We'll give you a one way trip. You can, they've colonized it, but let's say this let's say we figured out Elon Musk has fate. Let's let's assume Elon Musk because he's the guy who's going to figure it out. Um, you're able to colonize, you're able to live there. Um, you can grow food there. It's basically like you know, uh, Matt Little Damon's house on the movie. Prairie. No, <laughs> yeah. No, but let's say you're able to go there. You're given okay. the opportunity, Andy. We don't know if we can get you back, but we know you can live there. You can live. You, we can sustain life. Uh, there will be other. There will be other people out there. We'll have doctors out there. We'll have, but uh, we don't know if we can bring you. We don't know if we can bring you back. We do. We haven't. We don't have the technology for that, but we can get you there, and you can sustain. We can sustain life there. Would you do it? Pretty tough with Cindy. Pretty tough. With well, Cindy. would Cindy do? Would Cindy come? Well, I'm assuming, you know, Cindy maybe wouldn't. Cindy comes with. No, Cindy couldn't wouldn't. do it. No. She wouldn't do it. Okay. No. So this is just Andy, Andy on his own. If it was just Andy on his own without Cindy? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, you wouldn't do it. But I have Cindy, so I can't. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if, if, if I were just Cindy, a single dude and, and yeah. plowing through life, yep. You would do it. Yep. No question. Yep. Uh, Why not? I don't. I, I don't really like travel in general. I don't like don't. going places. I don't like uh, doing things. Max, I, let's, let's, let's have a big weekend. Let's go to that hotel on Twenty Eighth Street. Woo! <laughs> what a travel. <laughs> we're hey, we're really getting pool. out of our comfort zone, Max. It's Come got on. a pool, man. <laughs> don't crap all over my staycations. I did. Those are the best kind of cations, man. I couldn't agree you more. Stay. Nothing better than you the Red Roof go. Inn on 28th Street. <laughs> oh, no. You think I would take him there? Yeah. What about. 
Max, we have a coupon. Uh, We're going to the Red Roof Inn. Do you think I, am? <laughs> I found a promo code online. <laughs> God, you're a dick. Next. All right. Hey, speaking of, speaking of fun things to do, take us to the 2018 Burning Foot Beer Festival Woo! in Mesquite. You go on sale Saturday at 70 beers with bands, got games, got camping all happening at uh, Pier Marquette, August 25th. But a preview is happening this Saturday on uh, West Western Avenue downtown. Uh, tickets going to run between uh, 45 and $125. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm not one for going places and doing things, but uh, this looks like fun for other people who like going places and doing things. It so. is a good time. They've got a great festival go. going on down there, and it, it it's not 70 beers. It's 70 breweries. 70 breweries. That's what, you know, right. that's what I, so, that was I mean, what was implied. Well, I mean, you got to figure that he's going to bring a few more than be, right. beer, you know, so. Right. 70 and, and I got to well, be honest with you, different. I'm all for this micro brew thing. I'm all for mm-hmm. the entrepreneurship. Cool. I'm all for what it's doing for, mm-hmm. but I am so glad that I quit drinking before all this came along. Oh because, yeah. You, you know, I got into that in the mid nineties when yeah. I was going to college in Kalamazoo and, and Bell's brewery was huge. Yeah. This goes back 20 and plus this is years. Way before it really got going. Yeah, this was yeah, this yeah. was before I had a yeah, this I had a, a really good friend of mine who was uh I don't know if I told you the story before or not, but uh he, he got the material to brew his own beer. Yeah. This was like I said, this is going back 20 years. And I will never forget this as long as I live. He he brewed it. Uh I think he made about a six pack. I can't remember I I I had some. It was it was pretty good. It yeah. wasn't bad. Yeah. Anyway, he had a date that night. I come back from a night of whatever the hell it was I was doing. And well, it was no, it's early the next morning. That's what okay. it was, because like four or five o'clock in the morning. I come walk upstairs and I see dude passed out, face down, naked on the steps, going up to our two, second floor. <laughs> Couldn't make it up to his to his room. And there was a note pinned to him. Thanks for the beer. Had a great time. <laughs> and I and he was he was still breathing. He was fine. And uh yeah, I went upstairs, went to bed <laughs> and left him on the stage. He he was a bigger dude, so I couldn't carry him up. But right. uh, you know, great guy and obviously a, a master master craftsman. Obviously. Uh, yeah. when it comes to the brew, so <laughs> no, oh, I mean all, all the different beers and all that stuff are great, but mm. dude, yeah, what they spend on a beer. I mean, that would have been it's, a fifth to me. I'm here to right. tell you what. <laughs> yeah. But see, here's the thing. You, you got you to gotta spend the money. And, and this goes and, – and this is something This is something for young people to know. If you're going to go out and you're going to have a good time um, and you don't want to deal with the after effects of, right. of having a few, you got to get the upper shelf stuff. Right. You got to get the upper shelf stuff. Otherwise, you are going to be hurting a hurting unit the next day so don't go to, if, if you're going to get a mixed drink you don't go yeah whatever you got i you know whatever your stock vodka is the heaven Jim's vodka bill's vodka yeah <laughs> uh yeah no no the pop off okay. <laughs> go belvedere go home there That's you go right right there all right sports Tigers beat up on the Red Sox seven to two. Cubs win, Cubs win, Cubs win. And they beat the Phillies four to three. And your Washington Capitals, Stanley <laughs> Cup champions, the first time in franchise history. They bit, beat the expansion of Vegas Golden Knights four to three. Congratulations. That's sports. Have yourself a great weekend, and we'll talk to you Monday. Hey.